Welcome folks, today I'm going to show you how to create a wood router file using bitmap and in this case we're celebrating Constitution Day and all the steps would be the same on any bitmap Aspire Vetric project. So uh, this is kind of the end result but I want to show you how I got there. So first we're going to need a photo and in this case I usually do just a Google search for Whatever it is that I'm looking for, I include the word clip art to keep it academic and safe for your viewing purposes. And I also add uh, the terms black and white, and that's going to help create our vector lines. Uh, you also want to be cautious as when you're getting files that they are not copyrighted or you're not taking things that cost money for free. So once we have that image, and let's say that I wanted this one, I can just click and drag that out to the desktop. or we can also go right click, save image as, select desktop, provide a title and hit save. So these are all different examples um, of ways we can get those photos for machining purposes. Once you have it on the desktop, you're going to Aspire 11.0, it's the red flame. And we're gonna go to create a new file. From here, we're double checking our job setup page. Uh, for us, we use the four inch by two inch by 0 0.51 inches thick material. Eventually that may change as we move into bigger projects. But as for right now, we're going single sided material surface center XY datum position. You shouldn't have to make any changes on this page as I've already got it set up for you. So we're gonna okay that. From here, we need to get that photo inside. So we're gonna go import bitmap. I'm gonna use this we the people. We want to be cautious as to we're not too close to top, bottom, or sides because we don't want to machine out our device that's holding our stock. So this looks pretty good. From here, I have to make sure that I'm clicked on that image and then I'm going to go to the bird, trace bitmap. I always go to the bottom scroll bar, bitmap fading, go all the way to the left. That's going to darken the lines, which is the better the cuts. And then up top here, number of colors per threshold. This is really just a sweet spot on trying to get your image and your lines to be the, the best look possible. So I'm going to go, let me go about right there. And now I'm going to go preview, apply, and close. And you can see that it traced my different black lines. So I'm going to click right on a vector line. And now there's two ways to get here. We can go toolpath, show toolpath tab, or I've also taught you that you can go to this arrow and that's going to bring up our toolpath operations. We're going to go to V for V carve. Down here at the bottom, we're going to throw in a title and hit calculate. From there, we're going to play that simulation. And we're going to make sure that nothing went all the way through as we're not cutting all the way through at this time. And everything looks great. We check mark our toolpath. And we're going to go to close. From here, we're going to save the toolpath. And it should already be set up as CNC Shark. All we got to do is hit save toolpath and then go to desktop and save. We're going to save this another way as well. So we're going to save the program, which is file, save as, saving everything to desktop, and titling. Once we've gotten to this point, you're going to put in a flash drive, and we're going to add that tap file to the flash drive. So I'm just going to put one in here. And now down at the bottom of your computer, you're going to see a yellow folder, and that is File Explorer. We click that, and now we're looking for a flash drive. Uh, these yellow flash drives are called Infane, or they may be labeled with a number, as I did name some of them a certain number. So now that I'm on Infane, I'm just looking for my file, and I should have saved it to desktop. 
and I see that it is right here, we the people, and it should have a .tap when we post it out. So now I'm just gonna drag that in. And then I'm gonna right click on Infane and hit eject. Now you are ready. Now you are ready to take your flash drive to the CNC shark. Thanks for watching.